speaker is Ali Strista from the Consult. He is the lead mobile application developer and engineer. He is involved with uh, FONSOFT International Private Limited Company and also in many tech communities like FOSS Nepal, Yano Yaske, Mobile Social Network and City. Discussing on Android app design from the perspective of uh, developer. So before starting the session, so how many of us are uh, designers here? One, two, three, four. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I think mobile Delhi banner Nepali me bolna bani to bani baat hai kya So let's see kothi ke Nepali me bol chala boy. So for application development, obviously uh, there is a combination of uh, de developer. At the same time, there has to be a designer who makes the best looking UI. So if you are a developer, you need a designer to make an app. Or if you are a designer, you need to learn coding, right? That's a different story. But uh, if you are a developer, what would you do? Would you learn designing? Or would you find a friend to do your designing? Or would you hire a designer? Obviously, hire a designer if you could afford, right? Tara, uh, for a small application we develop, we could learn designing by ourselves. There are some design principles. There are some design patterns uh, given by Google itself for Android or uh, by Apple for that matter. So uh, if you are a developer, you could be a designer. You could learn the principle of designs and implement in your application by, by yourself. So in uh, three, three years time, what I've learned is anyone can build an app. So I learned that the damn application development is so freaking hard just like that. But after three years, now I believe is key. Anyone with basic programming knowledge or with the extensive training going on like this, I think anyone can uh, build application, I don't know, in, 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 in a week around. So building an application is not a big deal right now. But the very big deal is can you make an app that is beautiful and enjoyable at the same time? Right? There are hundreds and thousands, say hundreds, hundreds of apps published in Google Play every day. Would they make two top, top 10 apps? Would they uh, be used by at least 1,000 or 10,000 10, people? Is that more engaging that people use their app at least once a day or twice a day? So right now, the problem is not building an app. Right? There are hundreds, hundreds of freelancers, hundreds of developers who make app, who make earning by making app. Right? The big thing is, is your app good enough? Is your app uh, enjoyable enough that people would use every day for for uh, sake of uh, solving their problem, right? Okay, the things, the design principle that we need to focus first of all is uh, our app should be like uh, fast food. It should be cheap. It should be easy to use, and obviously addicting. Already hamburgers on that. You do not need to think. right? You dive into the hamburger itself. Uh, so uh, I, I put the snapshot of three three apps here. Uh, Google Now, the pattern uh, it is a um, extensive library of uh, uh, background images it gives, and uh, account manager. So these are the uh, three examples I put, which are very focused. At the same time, uh, solves what you're looking for in an app. Uh, so as a developer, what we uh, feel is features is our asset. We try to pile up eighty many features. Are okay? Users are there is all of them. Thabani users are getting features or all here, right? So basically, for an application we make, we should be clear what we want to focus on. The data of uh, AppFuse uh, is a, a marketing company which uh, finds data of app users. What they have found is uh, people who are using new application tend to use the application for less than six minutes, six minutes or less. So could you be able to show all the features in those time? So as a user's perspective, what users are looking is not having any errors or bugs from the application itself. Users are looking for, users are not looking for different many sets of features, but the features in the application should work fine, right? So compiling or adding up more features doesn't make an app useful, but focusing on simple purpose 
and uh, making the app useful in that uh, feature is the point you consider. So, uh, as we are uh, discussing here on design patterns, um, we need to, like, users are too used to using so many apps, right? Phone na dushyor app unta at least manjar ko. So, what your app provides, jale garra, the UI they look is different from other 199 apps. It is the design factor that matters. Functionality, a lot of them are similar. But is the design intuitive? Is the design easy to tap ki mali dui click ma? I could do whatever I want to do by that. Right? So main uh, design pattern to follow is uh, Google provides many icon icon set for application. So can you make a, can you innovate or can you design new icon patterns or can you challenge Google if they could design patterns or we need to follow some set of uh, patterns. But then can you innovate new uh, designer? Because only user go experience like promote one of us, right? So make a unique point of view and keep fresh in your application. It has to stand out. And uh, design, ma, the important thing is, is it social? What we need to focus while developing application is, uh, can user be able to share your application in social medias? Can a user be able to share his skill Via, via your application, right? It's, it's being social. Ani, the last question is, can number of multiple users can use your application at the same time? Like, features after Thama Satara, design pattern, what it says is, it has to be made social. Can they make an app, app and share their uh, skills through your application? So this is how it goes viral. Facebook my order text button so my order message type wearing button click wearing. If it doesn't go to web, if my friends five thousand friends could not see it, it doesn't make sense, right? So making your app social and making people be able to use your app to share in social sites are very important. So now you have your app ready. Functionally, it's perfect. Design, it's fascinating. So how do you make people buy, rate, and recommend your app? So this is a very dynamics. Every, every uh, developer should, should, should uh, learn at some point of their development life. So the main thing uh, that determines uh, the buy, rate, or recommend apps is obviously, again, the design. The snapshot you keep in uh, App Store is the first impression that user get fascinated about. By looking at a uh, snapshot, if they get ex excited about your UI and the functionality it provides, then it is the first point of uh, motivating people to use an application. Uh, so there is a snapshot of two applications here. It's an alarm application. On the right, there is uh, some kind of some sort of messy, but then to the right, there is um, flashy uh, alarm list to So, if you need to prefer among these two applications, which one would you prefer? Your left, right? <laughs> okay. So the thing is, uh, if you could uh, provide, if you could give users the real uh, clock scenario in this case, then people, the users would like to log it, right? So it's it's just pretty an example. So, digitally or a kam gone. Either if uh, application is to real feel gone on us, okay, that your alarm clock or one, you know, one, they could get more fascinated and get used to your applications. The last point is think holistically. While designing our application, the thing we need to consider first is, is are, are our designs organic enough? Are our designs organic in different parts of itself and as a whole of the application? So 
this is the point we should focus basically. So, like I said, uh, developing an application, designing an application is very first step of application development. But building an app is just the beginning. You have your app ready. Now what? What you are doing by application is solving a particular problem in our society that, that we are facing and we plan to solve from our application. But still, developing an application is still the beginning of the main journey. So uh, later maybe in some other presentation we like we would be talking what what we would do after uh, making our application ready to publishing. So here are some resources uh, if you are a developer. Uh, the first link is uh, the design link given by Google itself. Uh, the second, uh, if you are a developer, uh, you could uh, you might be using different Android libraries for designs. So second link provides. Uh, the set of collection of Android libraries uh, that might be help, helpful to, to more of us. And the third is Action Bar. It's widely used for backward compatibility of uh, the Action Bars and stuffs that Google provides. <laughs> and the third is one of the uh, application in Google Play, which I kind of use frequently. It's, uh, it, it, it is a collection of all the libraries that you could actually integrate in your application. You do not need to uh, design different libraries by yourself. There are already open source libraries. You could just use it in your application. Um, so this is it. Uh, key question or something I would like to answer, please. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks so much.